Well guys, we're going somewhere a little different. Going to Dallas. Group nine We're going to Dallas. Going by 5836 to Dallas through the main morning lane. That's groups one through nine. I'm excited. That awkward moment when the airplane malfunctions and you have to board off the airplane. Well, they moved pretty quickly. They're moving us onto a new plane, but uh, sit down, get comfortable, just ready to take off, and then. Plane malfunctions. So, turns out we're getting on a different plane, but we'll get there, and I'm, I'm excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, round two. It is humid here in Texas. Holy crap. But I like the humidity because lately in Arizona it's been hot. Yeah, humidity's nice. Yeah, now we're just waiting to get picked up and just sitting outside in the hot and humid Texas. If you're from Texas, comment and let me know. That'd be kind of cool to know because it's kind of cool. Let me know what kind of stuff you've seen here because I'm out here hopefully to see some cool snakes. So. All right guys, so me being here in Texas literally has me so excited. I, I can't even express to you how stoked I am. I mean, this is such a different habitat for me. And the fact that I could literally run into a copperhead at any time literally gets me so hyped. This is so crazy. I mean, look at these woods. It's like nothing i've ever been in before so it's super exciting to me okay guys no freaking way i am so excited about this i heard a noise in the leaf litter looked over there was a bright green tree frog oh shoot oh got it to jump way better than I had anticipated. Oh my gosh, but I got it. Holy crap, I got it. I freaking got a tr green tree frog. I am so stoked right now. He was just hopping in the leaf litter. There's not a, even any water. Calm down, bud. Whoa, whoa. Okay, if I could get, I just gotta get him still here. This right here is the green tree frog. And I know the name is kind of like you're like, are you making that up? Because it's so dang obvious. But no, this is the actual name of the tree frog. It's called a green tree frog. What's really cool about these guys is the white stripe going along its lip and then to the back side of its body. Um, they've got really long legs, and man, can they hop. These are insect eaters. Really fun to see, and I was super stoked to see it because I knew they were here. Didn't know if I'd get one, but uh, I actually saw him hopping around in this leaf litter, and you know, brown against green it's kind of obvious to see him but super cool an awesome green tree frog all right guys see this right here not very often does it get better than this so i'm hoping something's under here a big freaking rat holy crap that is a huge rat jeez did you guys see the size of that thing? That was massive. Okay, I just lost my phone, and I'm literally walking around looking for it, and I looked up, and there was a rough green snake right here. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! I just got a rough green snake. I just got a rough green snake. Oh, no way! I looked up looking for my phone and I just saw this green thing stretched out and I'm like, please be, please be, please be. And it was, oh my gosh, I just got a rough green. Oh, oh my gosh. All right guys, this right here is the rough green snake. 
I cannot be more excited about this. I am still trying to get over myself here. I am looking right now at a rough green snake. If there was only one snake I can see here in Texas, I would have to say it would be the rough green snake. This is one of the coolest snakes I've ever come across. I mean, look at this thing. It is such a beautiful snake. And turns out that I'm walking here, I'm trying to find my phone. So I started walking in circles and circles trying to find my phone, my camo phone, in leaf litter, which is nearly impossible to find. And turns out while I was walking in circles in the same area over and over again, I noticed this guy just coming off of a vine coming into the leaf litter. So these rough green snakes are arboreal, meaning that they move in the trees and in bushes and, you know, just kind of stay elevated from the ground. Um, these snakes will primarily feed on insects. Um, every once in a while can eat uh, small fish and small lizards, like little skinks that run around here. These snakes will come onto the ground for forage for food. They'll look for little um, millipedes and small insects that they can uh, um, eat. So super cool snake. Um, this is actually a very common snake in the pet trade, um, so it's really cool to actually come across one of these guys in the wild. Super cool animal. Uh, we're going to get some photos of this guy and we're going to let it go, but super cool. I cannot be more excited about this. Wow. So freaking cool. So freaking cool. You will not believe what I just came across. I am so freaking happy. Okay, first day being here first few hours okay I come out in these backwoods assuming I'm sure it's possible to find a copperhead but I found a copperhead okay so before I show you the snake we're gonna play a little game this is gonna be spot the snake okay so I'm gonna turn the camera and I want to see if you can even see the snake okay ready okay try and spot the snake can you see the snake ah, now he's moving there you go, copperhead snake. All right, so I have to kind of keep my distance from the snake. Reason is, is because this guy is a lot more zippy than what I'm used to. But right here is the copperhead snake. Texas copperhead snake just off of the side of the road. I know you can probably hear the traffic. I'm not gonna be moving this snake far from where it's from. The copperhead snake. I could not be more excited about this find. It was one of my top targets for this Texas trip, and turns out, I got one. The copperhead snake is, it may not have a rattle like the rattlesnakes I'm used to, but one of its adaptations is camouflage, and you can definitely see why. The patterning that they have is actually meant to be that of a pattern of leaf litter. This is supposed to mimic, or supposed to replicate, the leaf litter at the bottom of the Texas forest floor. And you can see why this snake is called the copperhead. Its head is actually, I mean the whole body generally is like a copper coloration, but its head especially is a bright orange copper coloration. Um, it is my first copperhead ever. Um, I've never even seen one in captivity, uh, which is crazy, but I have never even witnessed a live copperhead in my entire life. Which is crazy because this is actually a very common species in the west and turns out I just have never herped or searched in this kind of area before. First time for me, on purpose, I am figuring all this stuff out on my own, have done a lot of research the past few weeks, and turns out, whoa, he's coming racing after you. Turns out that it's paying off rather well. Well, we'll see a lot of crazy cool finds. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Catch It, and if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, this is not it. This is not it. We will see a lot more stuff. There's a lot more to come. So uh, look forward to the next few weeks of video. We are gonna have a blast here in Northern Texas. I'd love to end out this episode with a beautiful Northern Copperhead snake. All right, here she goes into the brush. Go on. Wow. Come on, little guy. Into the brush. Copperhead snake. Wow, guys, I cannot be more stoked. It is hot, it is humid, and I'm tired. But there you go. Copperhead snake, could not be more excited. Best way to end the video. 
Man, we already got some cool stuff on the first few hours here in Texas. So here's a little teaser for you. Uh, hopefully that gets your hopes up on some crazy cool videos here in Texas because it is going to be a lot of fun. So we'll see you next time, guys. Catch you later. And don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. All right.